Two million fighting men have to be moved around the country within 10 months with an average of five to seven trips per man. This places a burden on the railroads almost five times that of 1939, a job which must be handled with approximately the same number of freight and passenger cars and with personnel drastically cut by army induction. Bottlenecks develop and vital war material often stands in freight yards, material desperately needed in the Pacific. The railroads have performed miracles in their wartime task, but each incoming transport brings thousands of troops which have to be carried to the four corners of the nation and many eventually to Pacific ports. From 75 to 200,000 workers are urgently needed for normal operations. The Office of Defense Transportation warns the situation is serious. Not every loyal American can be a qualified railroad worker, but every loyal American can, after seeing these Signal Corps pictures, ask himself, is this trip necessary? And stay off those trains until Japan is beaten. <laughs>